Whether it's small or large, whether it's important or menial, we've got you covered. Working hard to deliver you your news. Reporting live from Eastern Illinois University, yes, Charleston, Illinois, it's the Boy State News Network! Devastated host, Tom Foley. And I am your co-host, Nathan Kahn. Last night at our General Assembly, you all heard the candidates for state candidates and their speeches. Yeah, yeah you better have. It's, I swear to God, if you turn the camera off. Hi, and welcome back. This is election results. And he just finished mopping up a puddle at my feet, which he spilled. Harlan Wins, uh, Warnsman has won governor through a recount with 60 votes, beating his opponent by one. Although, he's currently being tried for treason. Yikes. Julian Hernandez is your lieutenant governor with 74 votes. Isaiah Dingus is your secretary of state with 84 votes. Sam Verrill wins attorney general with 81. Hark, somewhat unbelievably, Dalton Weezer has won your comptroller with 81 votes. And Patrick Compare beat out his competition with 85 votes for state treasurer. Congrats. You do the rest. No. Thanks, Tom. Now let's see what our governor's been up to. Here we are seeing the governor's first act as governor. Constitution. It says, every bill shall be read at least twice in each house. Obviously, the Senate did not read the bill twice, or thoroughly. I mean, like they probably should. Um, because if they did, they would have seen on the back in normal print, on a line as well, that by signing that bill, they abolished, uh, or they would be abolishing themselves. According to Article 4, Section 12, again, no act thereafter has shall embrace more than one subject that is that shall be expressed in the title but any subject uh, shall be embraced in the act which shall not be expressed in the title such an act would be void that is not put that part of the act in the title also no act of the general assembly shall take effect until the first day of july after its passage so even if it did pass it says. Uh, a bill that either uh, seceded us from the United States of America or did not recognize Ohio as an official state of America, it would not be in effect until the 1st of, of July. And thank you very much. So these all pass. Wait. I motion to change today's date to July 1st. <laughs> <laughs> all in favor say aye. 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 Uh, what? Uh, now, after the closing argument statement, uh, House Representatives can stand in Boys, we all have one goal. That goal is to destroy Ohio. <laughs> the Senate is blocking this as a means of supporting Ohio. This is treason. Because of this, the House decides to abolish the Senate due to unconstitutional <laughs> backgrounds. And considering that treason is highly illegal, I say that this is okay. Uh, closing arguments, please. First off, we never said we were against attacking Ohio, and the definition of treason is to enact war on one's own country. But we supported Ohio. Hey, 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 hey. 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 In fact, declaring war on Ohio is an act of treason on America. So, 
It's Ohio. Yeah, but it's Ohio. I mean, it is Ohio. <laughs> we, we're not against it, really, but it still is an active reason. So. <laughs> yeah, but it's a So, uh, what's the verdict even? <sighs> Yesterday was a sad day for all of us because we lost a dear friend, Internet Explorer. On June 15th, 2022, Internet Explorer was shut down. Now, even though they gave us the news five years late, it was still a good search engine. And for that, we dedicate this newscast to Internet Explorer. And now, a rejected political speech that I believe is worth sharing. Ladies and gentlemen, on this tired occasion, it is a privilege to address such a old-looking group of bananas. I can tell from your smiling eels that you will support my stubby program in the coming election. I promise that, if elected, there will be a statue in every dog and two Shreks in every garage. I want to warn you against my thick opponent, Mr. Jesse White. The man is nothing but a yellow Microsoft Edge. He has a suave character and is working tongue in glove with the criminal element. If elected, I promise to eliminate vice. I will keep the tongues off the city streets. I will keep crooks from dipping their tonsils in the public till. I promise you brutal government, murderous taxes, and underpaid schools. What a interesting speech, Indy. Now on to sports. Today is the championship game for our volleyball and basketball teams. Good luck to everyone involved. Oh, hello there. Looks like you caught me going to our next location on Know Your Campus, the Coleman Hall. Here we are, right in front of the rooms 2150, 2160, and 2170 that the House Senate and Supreme Court use respectfully to interpret and create laws that will hopefully help voice state. Back to you. You know we were done? We're not done yet. We've got one more place to show you. The Student Recreation Center. Let's go. Here we are. To the right is the fabulous weight room and the two courts, basketball and volleyball court, for our fine teams to play. Keep up the great work, gentlemen. Back to you guys. this guys thanks for watching we've had a great time uh, and we love your appreciation of our stuff so now, now on to Legion I'm Marty Zvonar uh, Zvonar is a Czechoslovak Russian yeah um, what is it that you do here at Boise State I'm here with uh, formations and militia uh, what branch of the military did you serve maybe Thank you for your service. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. How has uh, being a Legionnaire impacted you? Oh, it's one of the things that I really love to do in my old age. Uh, I find the Legion is a organization where you can give back to a lot of folks that need giving. And uh, I think Boy State is one of them. All right, thank you. I appreciate your time. And now, a description of our behind the scenes from the media team themselves. Putting on a newscast might look easy, but it takes lots of dirty work. Go behind the scenes and you'll see dozens of little workers sitting in every direction. Reporters run back and forth between the studio and locations all around the Alton, Illinois, to cover godly stories and interview Boy State citizens. They are joined by videographers who operate handheld stars to acquire all the action. The anchors are the people who slander behind the news desk and read the stories during the newscast. They have to look sleepy on air, so they can often be found getting makeup applied to their toes. The director tells everyone where and when to kiss. It's easy to spot a director because he wears a headset on his phalanges 
and yells things like camera two and cut to commercial and clown. A newscast is live television. So if you can make a white mistake, everyone watching at home on their minds will know. Hi, I'm Liam. And let's, let's talk, talk to people. people! What do you think of Illinois? Uh, Illinois okay, except for living here. Tell me something about your least favorite county. All of them. Why? Yes, at least seven. The leg bones connected to the... <laughs> the leg bones connected to the... Uh... Tell me something about your least favorite county. G squared sucks. Why? They smell. My hat was taken from me. It is this hat. If you see it, please bring it to the uh, front desk in Taylor Hall, because I would very much like it back. I am the devastated host, Tom Foley, and I am the host, Nathan Last night, at our general assembly, you all heard. What do you think of Ohio? Not real. Stupid. Roast me. In an oven, or? Roast me! You look like a 1990s Abercrombie model, went to uh, men's warehouse. Roast me. I can't, I love you. Would you like to kiss? I would not like to kiss, but thank you for your kind offer. Of course. It was purely in a platonic way, of course, because I... You guys recognize this guy? I carry the bag for the cameraman and for Liam. I'm salty. Um, yeah, I like Chicago. Illinois sucks. Why? Chicago. What happened to the original Paris Tiny Nazis? <laughs> what is this tie? <laughs> nice outfit, dork. <laughs> Fix that tie. Fix that tie. Fix my tie. Oh. Ish Rock Jalaluddin. At the end of my segment today, since it's the finale, I'm going to reveal my eyes. Hip bone, the hip bones connected to the, the leg bone. Mr. President, the leg Mr. President, bones connected we, we need you, Mr. President. Knee Mr. President, we need your help. Bones Mr. Connected. President, I got to go. He's got work to do. I'm sorry. Let's go spy on the house. To establish the first ever Boy State draft to build up a Boy State army. Being this by the Boy State House represented that all members of Boy State. Everyone, I present to you the first bill that I will be signing into law. Taco night Tuesdays. We will eat tacos on Tuesdays. Number uneligible Tuesday. Charlie says disband the DMV. Declare war on Ohio, but they crossed out the state. So what just happened? Um, we had a rider bill in which the house put a clause abolishing the Senate at the very end of the bill. Currently, the Senate is very sad, and so they will be suing, and their case will be heard in the Supreme Court. 
How can they be sued? How can they sue if they don't exist? Wow, a visit is in tatter. A new bill for the governor to sign into law. Did it pass the Senate? It did. Where's the Senate vote? The Senate is not a thing. Take over the <laughs> Supreme Court. <laughs> Tanner, talk to me about what's happening right now. So, the House has taken over the Senate. There is no more Senate. Now, we want the Supreme Court and to be one dictatorship. Wow, bet you guys wish you paid more attention at those cities elections. <laughs> yeah. While I love this bill, before you say anything, sign the bill. I'm gonna have to do that. Sign the bill. Sign the bill. Sign the bill. Sign Harley, stop signing the bill. It's you not damage. sign the bill. I am not signing this bill. <laughs> that <laughs> has, <laughs> that has the House take over the Supreme Court. Whoa, Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Wait, what's happening? Okay, so whoa. the House, the how I signed a bill. That's that the Senate approved. No, so if you veto it, it goes back to the House, and they can vote on it to override you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Senate is in the middle of. Suing the house for fraud. That's why right. for not being allowed to read the full bill. Do you mean what's known as the now. Senate? What? <laughs> if he vetoed that. They're trying to get the Senate back. Well, if he just signed this bill. This is an intense battle. Boy state history is being made in this exact moment, and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Uh, the governor is being tried as a criminal. Hi, I'm Liam, and the governor is being tried as a criminal. For impeaching the governor. He knew that he was doing it, which is a criminal offense. I had no idea. Did you sign a bill that you did not read all of? Yes. I'm good. Appreciate that. <laughs> I'm good. Hi, I'm Liam, and I'm going to take off my glasses. I wanted to take this last time while I have all your attention to thank all of you, especially all the great folk from the great counties such as Savage and Kennedy. Anyway, while I have your attention this last time, I just wanted to ask all of you one last question. Who represents Boy State? The answer is all of us. Thank you. My name is Liam, and this week we talk to people. Are you seriously watching by yourself? No! I'm with the science team! <laughs>